Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do one of those trash to treasure videos. So these are some things you're going to need at your thrift store and then we are going to do some fun things with them. So you're going to need a pie pan or any other old looking pan. You will also need a glass vase and then a bundle of fans. Starting out with the pie pan, you can see here I got this for just 75 cents, but we are gonna make something really cute and very, very simple with this. I picked these little knobs up at Walmart. I believe they were $2, maybe a little bit less than that. And then you're also going to need some E6000 or hot glue. All you're going to do is glue these little legs on the bottom of this pan. I feel like this is the perfect farmhousey touch. It has that like old rustic look because it's old. <laughs> and so naturally it just kind of looks like this anyway. It's very simple to just throw on a couple of legs. And now you have a cute little dish to put your soaps on. I know I've made something similar like this in the past using picture frames, but I kind of wanted to switch it up a bit and just show you guys another option of something that you could do that's super simple and very affordable and it gives that perfect touch to your sink area. Don't let go. I understand. Moving on to the next one, another very, very simple one. All you're going to need is your glass face, some white spray paint, and some wooden spoons or spatulas or whatever you have laying around the house. Don't despair. I'm sure you could already guess I'm going to spray paint this white and no no one will be drinking out of this so if you get some spray paint on the inside that's okay I really love how this has that like milky glossy look to it those vases are usually 15 to 20 dollars so this is a steal I got this for 50 cents at the thrift store and last but not least, we are going to make a windmill out of these fans. I am so excited about this. I am just showing you here all of the things you will need. Some metallic spray paint, some brown craft paint. You will need a craft ring. These bolts are extra and so is this wire, but I will explain to you why I wanted to add them in at the end. As you can see here, I'm just tracing the fan blade onto some cardboard. I need to kind of get a stencil so I know what shape I need to cut each of these blades. I'll be honest here, I did not cut these, my husband did with his saw. So if you do not have a crafty husband, sorry, you're going to have to do this on your own. <laughs> Next, I'm going to spray paint this with the metallic spray. This kind of spray paint will give it more of that metal look, which is kind of what you're gonna want. Then you can see here, I'm just painting on some white and some brown, I forgot to mention that earlier, so. This is not HGTV, I mess up a lot, but you're just gonna slop this all over. Do not worry about it looking too harsh because I'm gonna show you what I do at the very end. Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Okay, now that I have these dry, I am going to go outside and do one thin, very, very thin layer of that silver spray paint over the top of this. I would film myself doing this, but it's pitch black outside now. So, I just wanted to explain to you how I'm going to get to the next step. Okay, this is what it looks like after one thin layer. So, it's just not as harsh anymore. It does have that more rustic look to it. And that's kind of what I was going for. So I do like how this turned out. Hey, darling. You know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving. As I'm watching this back, I just realized one of the clips did not record. So I hope I'm not confusing you too much, but basically what I did was I measured where I wanted them, I spray painted the ring right there, and then I cut it to fit. I really hope that makes sense, but 
right here you guys could call this a day just glue it to the back of this ring and that would look good enough you could also just glue some knobs or bolts to this to give it that look without actually screwing it to the back so that's another option for you if you do not want to actually screw it in the last thing i'm doing here is hot gluing some wire to the back because on a real windmill they always have that stabilizing wire and so i thought this would just you know give it that extra touch all right, you guys, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope this gave you guys a few ideas of some fun crafts you guys could do by finding some items at the thrift store. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand?